Hello, thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we'll be talking about categorical and quantitative data. Specifically, we're going to start talking about different types of uh, measurement scales within categorical and quantitative data. Just to remind you, quantitative data is a meaningful number. Often it has units connected to it. You can have difference calculated for it. You can say that your two times more than somebody, so multiplication makes sense. Whereas a categorical variable, you're checking a box, like you're in this category. My eye color is brown. That's a categorical variable. Now within those variables, so within categorical and quantitative, there are different measurement scales, so how the variable is actually measured. Now within ordinal, or excuse me, within categorical, you have nominal and ordinal options. Now, I always tell people, think about the root of that word, and it will help you to know the definition. So, nominal, no order. Ordinal, ordered. So, when you have nominal data, it's categorical, but it has no order to it. Whereas, ordinal data, it's categorical, but it has some ordering to it. So, then we have ratio, which is in the quantitative. So, let's talk about that a little bit more. So, here... This is going to be an example of ratio. So it's a measurement. You can say, I weigh twice as much as you. You can say the pounds. So that's a ratio measurement scale within a quantitative variable. Then you could have something like the grade you achieved. Now that's categorical because you're putting yourself into a group, right? A, B, C, D. But there's actually a distinct order to those grades, and so we would call that ordinal data. So it's categorical, but its measurement scale is going to be what we call ordinal. Then you could have something like yes or no. So you're answering a question on a survey. If you say yes or no, there's no inherent order to that. It's just the group that you're in. So yes, no, categorical, no order, so it's nominal. Then we could have the option, and this is where people really start to get thrown. You could have weight, but instead of it being measured in units, perhaps they say something like too much, or they put you in the categories of, you know, morbidly obese, obese, overweight, normal weight, underweight. Those are categories within weight. And so if you're collecting data that way, where you're categorizing it, that no longer is quantitative, even though inherently you think, well, weight is measured in units, it's got pounds. Well, if it's actually collected as a category, it's a categorical variable. Also, in this situation, if you were going to say, morbidly obese, obese, overweight, normal, underweight, that does have some order to it, so that would be an ordinal measurement scale within weight. So you have to be very careful about that because sometimes you might have a natural inc inclination to think that something is quantitative because you know that it's measured with units, but you have to see how it's actually collected or the way that you intend to collect it to know what type of variable it is. So then we can have height, same idea. So you could have number of inches tall, you could do centimeters, there's lots of different ways that you can measure height. So height would be a quantitative variable, which is then in a measurement scale, a ratio scale. You could say I'm twice as tall as somebody, you could say the difference in our height is one foot, those things make sense. So we would call that a ratio uh, variable or it has the ratio measurement scale within its quantitative variable. However, if you were to measure short and tall, that no longer makes it quantitative, it's becoming categorical. And so if you are quantifying it with the units it is, it's quantitative. However, if you're categorizing, if you're short or tall, that's going to be categorical. You could also have something like income. Well, income is maybe measured in dollars per year that you uh, make or earn. So that would be quantitative. It would be a ratio measurement scale because I could say I make twice as much as you or I make half as much as you or the difference between your average income or your annual income and my annual income is $10,000. Those things make sense. And so that's ratio measurement scale. However, if you look at some surveys, often they'll have you check a box and say, 
I make between you know twenty and thirty thousand dollars a year. I make between thirty and forty thousand dollars a year. That's going to be categorical, and then the measurement scale would be ordinal because you would be in a different rank or different um, uh, category for your uh, at annual income. I don't know why that was so hard. You could have something like favorite color. Well, there's no inherent order to that. You're putting yourself into a category, so it's a categorical variable, but because there's no order, that's a nominal measurement scale. Or you could have favorite food. Mine is sushi. It should be yours too. Probably not, but I love it. And that has no inherent order. You're putting yourself into a category, so that's going to be a categorical variable with a nominal measurement scale. You could have something like amount of education. Now this one can be tricky and you'd have to look at how it was actually collected or the method that you intended to use to collect data on it. But, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, you could measure the number of years that you were in school, that would become quantitative. You could also just say what your highest degree reached is or are you graduated with a undergraduate degree or maybe a master's degree or a doctorate? So those would be categorical because you're putting yourself into a category, but the measurement scale would be ordinal because there is some order to that. Then you could maybe talk about something like ounces. How many ounces of water are in this glass? That would be a quantitative variable because you're measuring it. You could say I have twice as much water as you or you could say I have one more ounce of water. So that would also be a ratio measurement scale. Another thing that you need to think of is you could say something like is the glass half empty or half full? In that situation you're putting yourself into a group or category so that's going to be categorical. Also there's no inherent order so it would be on the nominal measurement scale. So this is looking at categorical and quantitative data and then also deciding based on um, the type of data and the way it's collected, what measurement scale. So just as a quick reminder, we have quantitative that has the measurement scale ratio and we can identify it as ratio if you can calculate a difference or multiplication would make sense. And then within the ordinal variables, you could have nominal or ordinal, where ordinal has a set order to it, but nominal has no order to it. So those are some reminders of categorical and quantitative data, and also looking at nominal, ordinal, and ratio. I hope you understand those measurement scales a little bit better.